Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and uh, what I have for you here today is I have a uh, a Channel Master, a nice uh, six transistor Channel Master. Um, this particular one I, I got on uh, eBay, and it was described as working great. Um, however, when I received it, it really wasn't working that great. It uh, has very low volume, and it only picked up a couple of stations throughout the whole band. So, I emailed the seller, and I said, can you tell me how this radio performed when you listed it? You did describe it as working great, and the volume is really low, and I can only pick up a couple of stations. And uh, the seller just replied, well, yeah, sorry about that. I, I thought it was working good. Um, you know, send it back and I'll, uh, I'll refund your money. And I was looking at the radio and I thought, well, you know, other than it not working that great, it's really in, uh, in pretty nice uh, shape, as you can see here. It's uh, in pretty decent shape. There's not any chips in the case. There's a few little... Uh, scuffs and whatnot, but but nothing major. You know, it's in pretty good, you know, cosmetic shape. Um, the grill is really good. There's no real dents in it. I think there's one tiny one right there, but that's it. And uh, I said, well, let me just see what this thing looks like. And I thought I'll just, you know, take a look in the back and and uh, and see what I if I see anything or anything. And so it's got one of these little screws here you you take out there's the back comes off and you know the inside is uh, is fine I mean it still has the the wax in here and you know, it doesn't look like anybody's uh, you know tampered with it or anything and uh, then I got to looking at it and I I noticed it has I was looking at these capacitors here and they're uh, 30 microfarad um, 6 volt capacitor and there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And there's another electrolytic down in here. And they all are the original caps. So my thoughts were, you know, this thing is over 50 years old. Very well could be the capacitors are just worn out. And, um, you know, whether or not it worked when the guy listed it or not, I don't know. Maybe he just turned it on and heard some audio and that was good enough for him. I don't know. Um, but in any event, I decided to keep it. And I thought, well, you know what? I probably paid more for it than I probably would have if it would have been listed as not working or low volume and, and only a couple stations or something like that. You know, I probably wouldn't have paid as much as I did for it. But it is in good cosmetic shape. So I decided to um, just get some capacitors. So I went on Mauser and I got some um, 33 microfarad um, capacitors because they don't make 30s anymore. So I got some 33 microfarad capacitors. I got some good quality uh, Nichicons. I got them from Mauser so I'm pretty confident that they're the real deal. You know I don't really like buying um, uh, stuff that I'm going to use for a repair on on eBay or e even Amazon, some of the sellers on Amazon, you just, you just really, uh, I don't know. I don't have a lot of confidence that I'm getting what I'm, what I'm really trying to get. And these things aren't really all that expensive, so I just figured I'd get them from miles or a reliable source, and be pretty assured that I'm getting a quality product. So I got, I got those for the, for the six here that need to replace, and there's. There's one, uh, I think it's a 5 microfarad capacitor, which doesn't exist. So I got a 4.7, a 4.7, got a few of those. So I got one uh, to replace there. I bought more capacitors. I got a couple of uh, other values, uh, some 22s, and um, what else did I get? A 47 microfarad as well, just to have on hand. And I've, I got extras, so if I have any more that need 33 microfarads, I'll have them. Um, you got to pay postage on them, so you know you might as well get some more. Uh, actually, I think I spent just about as much in postage as I did for all those capacitors. So, um, but it'll be for multiple radios; it won't be just for this one. So, 
I'm gonna do is here. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna see what we can hear, if anything. Um, show you what the what it sounds like, and then I'm gonna um, replace the capacitors, and then try it again, and hopefully, it'll be working again. So, let's put the back on it. Or just sit it on the back, I guess. I'll just sit it here, and we'll turn it on, and uh, and see what it uh, what we get. Uh, pretty simple radio, like all these. Um, you've got a um, you've got a, a tuning wheel here, and a, I'm sorry, a tuning wheel here, a volume wheel here, and um, let's see, what do we got here? Um, let's just say these ones are uh, earphone and earphone. Oh, that's what it is. Um, these two here for the, some kind of an earphone. And this is for an antenna. It's kind of unusual to have an, an external antenna. So, yeah. So we'll turn it on and um, let's see if we pick anything up. Yeah, this is all the way up, maximum volume. Not getting anything tonight. Oh, there's some. That's his maximum volume right there. I don't know if you can hear that. Get the mic down there. Maximum volume. And there's like nothing. I mean. I think I got another station up here at the high end the other night too. But, but anyway, so that's it. That's that's what maximum volume is, and that's what I'm getting for stations. Um, so I'm going to change those caps. I'm going to see if that uh, that does anything. Um, it's kind of nice. It's got the little Conrad uh, uh, triangles there as well. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, we will uh, pop some capacitors in there and see what happens all right now we got the star of the show back here the old uh, channel master that I've been working on this is by the way a, a model uh, channel master model 6506 fairly common you see a lot of these um, it's a six transistor uh, transistor radio um, it's, I think, from about uh, 64, 65, something like that. And it just covers the standard broadcast band um, 535 to 1620 uh, kilocycles. And we have the Conrad marks on there as well. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I think that's the kind of the age it was from. It's got a little badger that says six transistor. Uh, it's a very nice uh, shiny red and um, as you recall I turned it on and just got a couple of faint stations. The volume was really, really low. Um, so I figured well I'd just, uh, you know, it's fairly old, I'd just uh, change some capacitors here. So let's take a look at that. So um, ended up uh, changing uh, seven capacitors total basically all the electrolytic capacitors that it has or had um, there's one there two three four five and one over here is six um, all but one of them were originally uh, 30 microfarad um, six volt caps I believe and there was one that was a um, five microfarad cap, right? That was this one here. Um, now, of course, they don't make 30 microfarad capacitors anymore, or and they don't make five microfarad either. So the closest you can get is a 33 microfarad, is what I put in these guys, and then a 4.7 in place of the five microfarad capacitor. Um, 
it's kind of interesting how you take it apart. Um, there's this uh, uh, spot here where the uh, back of the tuning, or now the back of the uh, case, there's a screw that it fits in here. And it's got like this little slot in here and you can just take that off by getting it started with the screwdriver and taking it off. And that's one of the screws that holds it in place. And then there's a couple of other screws, just the uh, uh, shiny uh, stainless steel colored ones, uh, not anything that looks like brass. You don't have to mess with that. And then you got to take the the um, the plastic piece that fits over uh, the tuning wheel, and you've got to pop that off the little needle as well. Um, and um, then you have to take off the actual. Um, tuning wheel there's a, a nut that holds that in place so you can get to the back of the circuit board where you can get to all the capacitors you need to replace now I wasn't really a hundred percent sure that it was a capacitor problem but I just figured they're old anyway so I go ahead and replace them well I did that and this is what the uh, old ones look like they didn't have a plus or minus marks on this a little dot on one side that uh, denotes I guess the negative side um, so yeah that's what they look like and the, the newer ones are about the same height I guess but maybe they're just a little smaller in, in diameter but pretty close but anyway I uh, I changed them out and in the process of changing out you gotta flip the board over and move it around and you know you got the solder wick in there and you're getting caps out and get new ones in there and I was just about done recapping and I noticed that one of the uh, antenna wires looked like it wasn't connected to anything. And I, uh, I was looking around trying to figure out, well, where did this come from and whatnot. And uh, I did figure out where it came from um, and I connected it back together. And once I did that and with the new capacitors, this thing came to life. Now then I thought, well, maybe it was just that antenna wire the whole time, but I didn't notice it being off before, so I'm not sure if I got broken off when I was flipping the board back and forth and moving it around a lot when I was working on it, or if it was broken before that, because the eBay seller said that it worked, but then when I got it, it didn't really work. I mean, it came on and had a couple of faint stations, but that was it, so he said it worked. So maybe in shipping it got broken, and that was the whole problem. However... I did test the capacitors and they're wildly off so they need to be replaced anyway although it might not have been the total um, cure for this thing uh, it was still worth doing anyway um, I did however find um, online I found the uh, the service manual for this uh, radio which is kind of handy to have it uh, has a, uh, a schematic and everything in it and it's got, uh, I think it was uh, awesome. I don't know if like a Photofax style um, thing here. And it shows you uh, where all the uh, where all the pieces and parts are as far as the capacitors. And it has a has a list of them and what values they are, and of course their part numbers and so forth. And then it's got a a chart here that tells you where everything is on the circuit board. Um, and then on the front side, it points out uh, what what the parts are too, and then has their uh, descriptions and so forth on the other thing. So, so it's uh, it's pretty handy um, to run across one of these. I was surprised that I was able to to find that um, online, but I did. It was for this exact radio, um, but nonetheless, um, I believe it's ready to ride again. So maybe caps weren't totally necessary it may have worked but how well would it have worked I don't know the, those caps were pretty bad they were supposed to be 30 microfarad and and um, some of those uh, caps were having a hard time getting to a, a one microfarad in value so um, probably not a bad idea to have changed them anyway I was already in there and I was already in there doing it I'm just glad I found that little wire, wire on the antenna and, and uh, figured out where it went to uh, to get it to come to life so anyway, so that may well have just been the problem initially. However, 
I'm thinking that the performance has got to be better with um, new capacitors anyway. So we will try and see what we can find. We'll just do a quick band scan and, and, uh, and see what we find. I was listening to it the other night and it was picking up pretty well. Um, it was uh, picking up uh, uh, stations in Ohio and Kentucky and um, uh, of course uh, the Chicago area was coming in pretty good and uh, I got uh, WBZ in Boston and WHO and so it was um, it was doing pretty decent so um, we'll give it a try and see what we get. the answer. Probably Kalamazoo. Mm -hmm. 
that uh, French Canadian station. Yeah, I know it's doing that click thing again. I still haven't figured out what that noise comes from around the house. It seems to only come in on the weaker stations. Virginia, listening on WMAL. Is that right? 
Yes, sir. All right. How are you? Like he already said, but just when that credit card bill came in, it w you could feel it. It was a weight on both of us, and now it's just we have cash to pay for anything we want. Or the behind girls very significantly in every academic subject, and especially in reading and writing, which are the two biggest predictors of success. And so I started asking, uh, and then boys who don't do well like in school, they're far more likely to drop out of school, of course, than they are likely to, uh, in a, at 20% plus level, not likely to be employed or the Nathan Phillips came between them, but not really. Confronted the kids, the white. Kids. If you're just joining us, this is Family Radio's Prayer Time, a time when we share prayer requests and praise reports. And if you have a prayer request or a praise report you would like to share with us, give us a call at 1-800-995-5555. And that's pretty much the top of the dial there. So, wow. I mean, uh, really picked up quite a few AM stations. Um, boy, these channel masters, they really are nice. Um, it's, what, uh, it's what the radios used to be. I really am impressed with how well it performs. And I just really love the color of this radio. It is like a fire engine red. And it's in pretty decent shape. I mean, I've seen a lot of these that are really beat up. It does have a small little dent in the grill. And, you know, the usual little scuffs and things that you might find on something this old. But, you know, probably if I've got some, uh, some plastic uh, polish, I could probably make it look even better than that. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really a nice one. Um, so I'm really not sure if it was if it was broken in shipping and that's what it was was that antenna wire or if it was a combination of that and some capacitors but in any event it is performing well now so I decided to show you guys and give a little band scan of the um, the channel master the six transistor radio the channel master model 6506 so until next time, this is the Radio Geek.